I kept finding that I was drinking more. I was really trying to you know, fill a hole. I was you know, adrenaline sports, like downhill skiing, whatever I could do, fast cars, fast motorcycles, um, to fill that void that I had lost. My company was failing. My marriage was failing. You know, my life was failing. I wasn't a good father. I wasn't a good friend. It's safer for me to be alone. But it's not necessarily what I want. I don't want to be an outsider. I don't want to be different. I want to be happy like everybody else. I don't know how. Like so many other veterans, you know, you're contemplating the end, right? It just, oh, it'd just be so easy to just grab the Glock out of the closet, put it in your mouth, squeeze the trigger, and it'd all be done. Try to commit suicide three times. I had to, man. What else was I gonna do? The pain, the pain needed to go away. I want to put the pills and the drugs aside, and I want to be able to feel my feelings. I want to be able to connect with other people. It wasn't until I started opening my mouth and talking and admitting I had an issue, I had a problem, and seeking help. It wasn't easy. It's probably the toughest thing I've gone through. Probably tougher than going to boot camp. It's very tough for a civilian today to understand the pain that a veteran is going through because they just don't know how dark it actually is. They don't know how tough it is to forgive yourself for killing somebody or for hurting somebody. In all actuality, you, you are broken. You've done things that you probably shouldn't have done, seen things that you probably shouldn't have seen. If they can engineer me one way to fulfill this job, that means we can also reverse engineer you the other way. It's totally possible to do. Average citizen, Joe Blow, anybody. I'll sit in circle with the cameraman here, but give me an opportunity. Let's close the door. Nobody else is coming in this circle. Let's let's just get raw and authentic with our feelings. As soon as you accept the fact that you're having a difficulty, you can now start working on it and there are more than enough people out there that can help you through it. And it doesn't involve significant amounts of drugs. It doesn't involve you know, the VA process. It can, it can be done in your local community. It can be done within your veteran network. It can be done within your church community. There are plenty of people that will be out there to listen to you. and They're there to help you through your process and your healing. issue that we have with service members struggling through their transition back home is the fact that they no longer have a mission. Number one question I ask veterans when, I, when they're getting out is, hey, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? And the number one answer is, man, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. They don't even know what, what their purpose they're going to fill for the rest of their life is, so they're going to depart 
an organization where they had purpose and trust and friendship. They're gonna to be told they're broken on the way out the door and they're gonna be stuck in a foreign environment in which they don't know what they're going to do for the rest of their lives. I tried to work with homeless veterans. So that's my mission. And I could sleep well at night knowing that I'm making a difference. So in many ways, there are a lot of parallels between my current mission and the mission I had while serving in the Marine Corps. I am serving my community. I don't longer struggle with suicidal thoughts. I want to educate every woman in Afghanistan. Well, how many women is that? Well, by our basic math, it's 3.1 million women. Am I going to be able to educate 3.1 million women in my lifetime? Probably not. But I'm going to put a decent dent in it, and I'm going to be satisfied with that. I could die right now knowing that I have lived my mission. This is my mission. It wasn't a mission to serve my country. It's not a mission to make my dad happy and be a Marine. This is my mission. This is, this is what my book gets to be written about.